Hey folks, how's it going? So, uh, coming back at with you with another adventure. Today I loaded up my new canoe, new to me. Um, I'm going to take off north. I'm going to head towards uh, Timmins area and that and see if I can't find a little hidden lake and uh, see what I can't get myself into. I definitely think we're in for an adventure this time. I've been traveling down this logging road for quite a distance. Um, hoping I can uh, stumble upon a body of water soon. At least so I can get my uh, canoe into the water. Pretty excited, you know. It's 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 never been in the water since I've owned it, or has it ever been in the water? So it's first time. This is this will be uh, pretty exciting. So I am way out there on this logging road. Um, there was a couple spots there that I've seen were quite promising, but I figured, you know what? I'm really out for this adventure, and uh, I want this this occasion to be kind of special for this for this canoe. Like this, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this. So I hope I can find the the right spot, just just that one. We'll see. You know, hopefully nothing breaks down on my vehicle. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got no cell signal or anything out here. It, it's a long walk back, so hopefully uh, everything goes all good. So we'll see. I found the lake. This is going to be. The lake that the my new canoe puts its first time in water and a boot sand be very nice on it too okay time to go get this thing unpacked I forgot to mention I got to do a portage but the really cool thing about it is it's a clearly made portage so this will even be uh, much nicer. You're getting there. Carried that. It's beautifully light. So much easier to portage than my kayak. But here she is, folks. My Langford. 12 foot cedar strip solo canoe. Oh, and she looks beautiful. Can't wait. Finally, all loaded, ready to go for a trip. I know I carry heavy, but let's see what this thing's got. Well, on this lake, there's literally only one trapper cottage. So. I think the fishing is going to be pretty good anyways. I don't know how I even managed to find that uh, <laughs> that particular portage anyways. Uh, my initial thoughts on this canoe, I love it. It, it just glides in the water. Uh, it's super light, like 45 pounds. Um, that's not some of the, like one of the lightest canoes out there, but compared to my 100 pound kayak, yeah, th this is actually a dream come true. Portage number two. Oh, well, wow. ain't this fun? So this portage, however groomed it actually is, still half a kilometer, and uh, of course I'm carrying heavy. I'm a dumbass, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to triple carry this. So <laughs> I'm gonna learn uh, pretty darn quick. Start carrying even lighter. Like uh, some of my tier, some of my equipment is light, like my uh, Helinox chair and you know some other small stuff like that. But uh, other than that, yeah, this is uh, turning out to be a lot of fun, but a beautiful trail, anyways. Thank gosh for that one. Oh well, time to get back to holy jeez, time to. Uh, Get back to the canoe, grab uh, one more load, bring it back here, and then uh, come back with the canoe, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to record it with you. I got another little uh, holder, phone holder my uh, sister loaned to me anyways. So we'll see. Oh, that thing looks beautiful in the sun. Jeez. Yeah, time for the portage.
Okay, well, here we go with the portage. I uh, really need to get, really need to get a yo, uh, yoke. And right at the moment I got a thwart, but it's uh, it's working anyways. Uh, give me an idea of the trail here. Oh, it's gonna be a little bit bouncy there. You know, it's only a two dollar uh, phone holder there for I guess from the dollarama anyways so it's working it's, but i tell you i sure do love this uh weight of this canoe heck of a lot lighter than my kayak okay I'll see you guys there it's finally touched down on its second lake oh what a beauty lake it's a tiny little one let's see how much further it goes Bug spray or not, those mosquitoes are hungry today. Holy crap. Well, fortunately, I'm back on the water anyways. So this is just a small body of water. I'm assuming that there might be another portage. I've never been back here, so I'm even surprised that there's portages, but I am definitely thankful to the person who did it anyways. So I'm thinking about that way. And we're going to take a look and see possibly if that's the... Uh, potential portage hopefully this canoe just glides through the water I'm I'm glad that uh, I met that this portage this little body of water actually leads to uh, a river system so let's see where this goes it's getting a little bit later in the day so we'll see what happens anyways I'll probably be setting up camp uh, I'm pretty far in there anyways so we'll see. Lake number three. Now to get past this little beaver dam, not much anyways, and we'll be into her. Well, this looks like a really, really nice lake. I think I'm gonna probably try and set up camp on this one tonight. Oh man, it got deep too. It's, it's quite deep. The other little body of water there, it was very shallow. So uh, maybe there's trout in it. We'll see. I think I'm going to check out this island here and uh, see what we don't have for a campsite. I kind of skirted it a little while ago. There's a couple little paths. I'm sure they're just animal paths going up in there. But uh, I think I'm going to use a hammock tonight. Uh, I slept good the last time anyways. So we'll see how this goes tonight anyways. I'll go in there and assess it and see what it looks like. Well, that sucked. I get all the way to the island pull my canoe up onto shore, go to grab my shoes, and I realized I forgot them back at the last portage. I would taken them off because I got a soaker, so I took them off, I put them on shore while I was loading all the gear on, and uh, yeah, I forgot them. So, lesson learned there. I had to go all the way back and uh, come and get them. So fortunately I got them now anyways, but now to go back and uh, get back to the island and set up camp a little bit later than I expected. Camp's all set up. Just uh, making a tiny, tiny little fire there. Not the, not the greatest spot for having a fire, but uh, tiny little thing. I'm watching it right now. And uh, I'm gonna cook up a steak. Just in time too. Just in time. The sun's just starting to set. So, fire's right there. Just a little tiny thing. Got the uh, canoe over there. A beautiful, beautiful little lake. See what this is all about in a bit. Time to throw on a steak. This is my setup. So I got right there with the hammock again. I really enjoyed the hammock the last time, anyways. So let's. Uh, I, I really hope I can actually. Get a good night's sleep again. I haven't even sat in it, so hopefully I set it up pretty good again. Beautiful night. Get a little cool. Well, it's supposed to get cool tonight. It's only about 3 degrees or so. Sleeping bag's minus 10, so I'm good. Hard to hear the mosquitoes really uh, buzzing around. 
I will say once I got the uh, all the gear out, finished my steak, and I figured I'd take out the uh, canoe. I didn't realize how fast this thing actually is. Like, it, holy jeez, it, it's it's quite impressive and nimble. Like it, it just turns on a dime. Not like any other canoe I've ever tried. Uh, I definitely love this thing. Oh. <laughs> And light, oh, that was just so nice going actually through the portages. Did, you know, it was so easy. Ah, oh, God, I love this thing. A moose swimming across the lake here. Hard to see. There he is. I purchased this Tokes twig stove a year ago and I never used it. But I figured tonight would actually be fitting. I you know I had my stake in that down by the down by the water, but I just kind of wanted something a little up around here, right by the hammock. And I figured, well, I'd go down and get a great big rock because I don't really trust the ground around here. It looks like a lot of a lot of tinder in that, so and the twig stove is actually burns just a it's got a grate underneath so it's pretty much just ash that's left when you're done just a great little thing works great too for your uh heating up uh coffee or boiling water etc you know what the bonus about a twig stove is it's only twigs. You know what the downfall is with a twig stove? It's only twigs. And so you're always feeding it. You're always running around to feed it. But other than that, it's only twigs, so you're not actually hacking up great big logs. But, yeah, provides the fun anyways. <laughs> morning well she was cool last night very cool I figured I'd get up and uh, boil some water and have a coffee and get my day started fish have been jumping so I'll get out there and do some fishing in a little bit and uh, yeah hopefully I'll get some shore lunch have myself a nice uh, uh, pike pickerel trout whatever it is in here for uh, breakfast We'll see. Well, just finished that. Figured I'd kind of spare you guys all the uh, that hassle, anyways. So that's done. I got one more. Just gotta cross this lake. No, jeez. Gotta cross this lake here, back around the corner, and uh, one more, one more portage, and then. Um, uh, back to my vehicle anyways so this was uh definitely a, a really exciting uh trip anyways oh bass right there right when it just took off <laughs> it's like right at shore i was wondering what it was so yeah this was uh 
very exciting anyways actually getting to launch my uh launch my canoe for the first time give it its maiden voyage uh this thing surpassed my expectations anyways so i'm very happy about that um gonna be a lot more trips with this especially with its weight um yeah i, I this was awesome um no fish i had a couple on but uh i think that was either a pike or possibly a speck i don't know it's it was a fair size there were a lot of big fish jumping last night uh, even this morning surfacing too so that moose was really really amazing to see him i seen him again in the morning i wanted to chase up and actually see if i couldn't surprise him around the corner but uh he was gone into the woods well till next time folks i hope you guys had an amazing time and uh mama i'm coming home and uh you guys all have a good one.